All right, Alexandra, it's time for you and your annoying tweets to step into my office. I'm the librarian and I came to read. Yes, girls, I did decide to change the scenery up a little bit from my empty ass kitchen. I'm giving you youtube.com slash Adrian Extra Tease. If you want to check out my nerdy ass, gaming ass channel, I would suggest that you go on over there, check it out, subscribe, and get your life. Um, but we came here today, we all have all gathered here today to speak about Miss Alexandra Ship. It's, and I called her on Twitter, I said, she's Alexandra sinking ship, okay? The, the ship that needs to sail. Now, she is not the, this is not the first time that we've seen Alexandra show her ass. Um, just recently on Twitter, let me make sure that I get the tweets correct. Bottom line is over here at Adrian Expression, we're dealing with facts. So we like to uh, whip up the factual accounts, what actually happened. And the first tweet that came out, uh, she tweeted this shit at 6.51 p.m. on the 14th of January, girl, I'm getting the facts correct, okay? I won't ever badmouth a fellow actor. I won't ever actively try to take another hard-working actor's job. Y'all can keep trying to pin black women against each other, but it, won't, but it won't work on me, honey. Stay blessed. Now, the reason why she tweeted that shit, uh, this is my, uh, this is my hypothesis. Now, girl, I know I have to go through all the steps of the scientific method to make sure that my hypothesis is indeed correct. But what the reason I think she tweeted this shit out is because Kiki Lane is actively gunning for the storm part. But yeah, reports came out that Miss Kiki is apparently uh, trying to get snatch up Miss Storm. Now, the girls are saying that she gave a sickening ass performance in If Bill Street Could Talk. Um, and I, I watched interviews of Miss Girl and she is so fucking fine and cute and she's a sickening ass actress and that's it. You know what I mean? That's it. So out of all the people that wanted to go ahead and gun for the Storm role, I'm wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering why Alexandra chose, oh, I mean we already know why, but I'm wondering why she chose this moment to go ahead and speak out in that way. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with Miss Alexandra if she's kind of shaking, she shook, because we've been shaking the table, she shook by the fact that we want a dark skin storm and this this woman, Miss Kiki, is coming out here and it looks like she's finna come out swinging, bitch. It, you know what I mean? It looks like she's finna take that shit to another level, okay? Now, all I need is for the writers and for the producers and directors to get Storm right, stop downplaying her powers, stop acting like her ass can only use, you know, the 4th of July sparklers, if we're, you know, like we're at a concert and a, Adele is saying, never mind, I'll find, and we got the lighters up and we're doing this shit, we're doing this shit with our fucking cell phones and shit. Like, that's the only power, that's the power level that y'all are giving Storm in these movies and I'm highly disappointed. I'm highly upset about it. Um, but yeah, so Alexandra got her ass up there and she was just like, sis, what'd she say? I would never actively try to take another hardworking actor's job. Now, in, sis, if somebody was going to take your job, uh, if, no, if somebody was going to take a hardworking actor's job, you actually have to be a good ass actress. And that is, that is no shade at all. Um, but we tolerated your ass for a long time. And we're tired of Storm being constantly disrespected by your lack of acting skills. And that's just no shade. That's actual facts. Number two, um, we're going to move on to your colorist ass ways. Okay, we have to talk about it. Because your next tweet about the situation was very interesting. Uh, considering your past comments, Alexandra. And we want to get on that on today. Let's talk about it. What you said was, Black Twitter is so powerful. And this was real shade. You said, one second we're trying to rally and define why our lives matter. The next Next, we're making each other feel like we're not worthy of one. I'll only spread and give love no matter what tone my skin falls under. Sis, I didn't even see that line, girl. You really tried it. <laughs> ah, you really tried it. I didn't even see that line. Oh, she said, I'll only spread and give love no matter what tone my skin falls under. Girl, yes, ma'am, bitch. You better, you better tell a star keys to shut the fuck up. Um, bless up. Y'all, I'm, I'm gonna go back to work. Now, sis, I hope that you really do go back to work because it needs work. The acting skills, it needs work. You see what I'm saying? I hope that you do go back to work, but let me tell you something about this. It's really interesting that your ass is coming up here trying to compare, like, us talking about state violence and us, like, talking about our asses being killed and shot the fuck up um, to your non-acting ass 
uh, overlooking your privilege, acting like when we're bringing up the fact that, hey, we would prefer a, dark, a darker skin storm, especially since Hollywood has a trend of always whitewashing or light skin washing everybody's story. I mean, even when they adapt novels, the author could literally say, this character is a full blown ass nigga, uh, dark ass skin that looks like midnight and uh, hair that is very kinky. And then you move that novel on over to Hollywood and all of a sudden, I'm seeing somebody that looks like, you know, snowflakes on my goddamn screen. And I'm wondering, sis, did the weather change that quick? I thought, you know, I understand that we in winter and winter is coming. But sis, you know, the author was talking about the summer. She was talking about melanin. And here y'all ask, go constantly they do this. So for Alexandra to act like we don't know what we're talking about or we're trying to personally attack her. And honestly, at this point, since you're making yourself so unlikable that girl, you're getting dragged even more than you thought that you were going, even more than you thought that you would get dragged. My thing is, I just don't like that she is over here acting like um, we, we should just shut the fuck up about colorism. And I'm just like, that's not how this shit works. That goes for a lot of people who have privilege. Um, and I'll use men as an example. When people who are being subjugated by men, okay, straight men, when gay people, when women bring up certain things that men do as a whole, as a trend, you know, certain things that men are trained to do from birth, you know, that are de that's detrimental to the community around them, sometimes some men take that as a personal attack as opposed to recognizing the privilege that they have and the power that they have to change what we're talking about, they get mad acting like, uh, you know, we're personally attacking them when we're just attacking the system, when we're attacking the, um, the, the ladder of privilege that allows people to constantly shit on the communities around them. And that's it, you know, and instead of taking that to heart and, and trying to analyze exactly what we're talking about, Alexandra feels this, this un dying need to defend herself when we're not even dra well we weren't even dragging her we were dragging the fact that this constant this trope constantly happens over and over in Hollywood where it's just like they can't stand to see dark skinned people on the screen especially in big ass roles and if, if they are girl it's rare and so we're trying to change that ain't nobody trying to come for your job sis like we we honestly should have left your ass alone after that Aaliyah biopic honey um, you're lucky. You, you have you. You're all in our faces. You're all on TV, sis. Ain't nobody. You. You'll be fine. Your checks will still clear, bitch. We're just talking about colorism and the fact that it is obviously still prevalent today. And so the reason why this is so alarming, the reason why your tweets are so alarming, sis, is because you previously made some really shitty comments in the past. Okay, and I'm gonna read some of the things that you said. I tweeted back at people who criticized me for not having dark enough skin for my role in X Men because we're not going to have this conversation about a cartoon character. You're not going to tell me that my skin color doesn't uh, match Crayola from 1970. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> that is super dismissive. She said, girl, you dark skin mother. She said, you girls better stitch your ass down. I don't give a fuck about no Crayola packets. I don't give a fuck about no crayons. Bitch, are you hoes mad? Like, all we said was, sis, we want Storm to be dark skin and your ass is coming up here trying to drag. Instead of saying, hey, Okay, I, I, you know what? It's okay to admit that you don't know much about the situation or you don't know much about the topic. It's okay to admit that maybe you should have done that shit instead of making these trash ass comments. And I'm not done yet because you got some more trash ass comments. I'm, I'm going to read them and make sure that we understand. Um, all you could have done is say, I don't understand what's going on. I would like to learn. Like, girl, I don't know what y'all talk about, but sis. And I don't, under, maybe because you've lived a life of privilege, you never had to really analyze that part of um, blackness or, or how blackness is treated by society. But sis, I, I would have preferred you said something other than girl, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? And now you're getting on Twitter talking about black lives. Black lives are impacted by colorism. So it's so surprising to me to get to hear your ass coming up here talking about, oh, well, girl, we need to stick together. Black lives matter. Y'all talking about black lives matter, but bitch. No, girl, we're talking, yes, we're talking about colorism because black lives do matter. Your ass is over here ignoring it. Now, this is what I want. This is another comment that your ass made. The conversation about Storm is so stupid. And I promise, this is what she, that's what she said. And I promise you, sis, it's not. It's not stupid. And that's what I hope that you um, start to learn and start to understand. It's not a stupid conversation. It's a very real one. It's one that um, has real life implications. And that's why we're so serious about it. So let me, let me, let me continue 
um, to read what she said. I'm out. If I lose a, if I lose my job to another actress, I hope it's for her talent and grace, uh, not her skin color. Now, sis, let me tell you something. If you do lose your lose your job, sis, just move out the goddamn way. Sis, you you got you just collect your checks. You played this played this role for too long as it is. Just collect your checks and move the fuck on. But you're talking about if I lose my job to another actress, I hope it's for her talent and grace and not her skin color. Sis, it will probably be for both because sis. You, you, where's your t like no shade at all, sis? But you're not this Meryl Streep, Viola Davis type of girl that you think you are to be talking about. I hope, I hope it's for her talent, girl. It wouldn't be that much of a stretch to replace your ass with somebody with talent or more talent than you. No shade. I'm gonna continue reading one of her quotes. She said, "I'm not playing Harriet Tubman with a prosthetic nose and darkening my skin tone. I would never do that." As if to say, "Girl, why are y'all hoes even pressed about the situation to begin with? It's not like I'm making my nose wider like you, um, <laughs> like you darkies. I'm not making my nose wide like." My nose don't look like Avatar the Last Airbender fucking um, arrow on his head. You know what I mean? You hoes are lucky that my ass ain't fucking like darkening my skin up to be fucking you girls up. And so, uh, like, that type of disingenuous, uh, dismissive, idiotic, er like, erasure that your ass is doing right now, um, and you and yet you had the nerves to go over there talking about, oh, well, girl, y'all hoes talk about Black Lives Matter. It's really disappointing, discouraging. It's just, it's just as discouraging, just, just as disappointing as uh, your interpretation of Storm on, on screen. I promise you that it is. So, Alexandra Schiff, I hope that you sail your ass on over to somebody's acting class, number one. Number two, I hope that you, you know, swim your ass on over, cut through the waves, Miss Ship. Cut through the waves and get your ass on over to Google and do a search. I want you to read some articles about colorism. I want you to read some articles about the power dynamics when it comes to light skin versus dark skin in uh, black communities and in Hollywood. I want you to read the articles that talk about the whitewashing that goes on um, in Hollywood since that's your, you know, you talking about your job and job security and shit like that. I want you to take this seriously because you're gonna end up up looking like Boo Boo the Fool day in and day out. You're going to cut opportunities off for yourself and I'm talking to your ass like I'm a millionaire like your ass, like I'm making money like that, but I'm just saying sis, you could do so much better than what you're serving us today. It, it really is so disheartening to, and you're not, and, and the reason why it's so fucked up is because you're not the only one with that type of mentality. So many people join you in, in this weird ass type of thinking, instead of breaking down the systems, their asses just want to stay on top. And that's, that's all it is. You can dress it up how you want to dress it up, but we all know that your ass just doesn't want to give up that power. You see what it gives you. It allows you to be mediocre in a big ass fucking franchise. Like you understand what's going on, sis, and so do we, and that's the problem. We understand the pedestal that your ass has been placed upon, okay? And I don't, I'm not sure why it's there, but we need, we're gonna have to remove it. I'm so sorry. But yeah, as I said, I hope that you do educate yourself instead of sounding like this all the time. Like every time you open your mouth to talk about a topic like this, it sounds so so fucked up. Please, please do better, sis. Okay, before I call Professor X, and you can have a good goddamn evening.